Hi, this is Belly Dance with Talia. I've been getting a lot of requests from people who really just are starting brand new and they don't really know where to go or how to start. So I just have a couple of things to remember when you're just beginning. The first thing is, is that belly dance is a whole lot harder than it looks. When you see a dancer in a club or at a fair somewhere, um, her job is to make the dance look very effortless. So when you actually start the movements, you may find muscles that you never knew that you had. And it may be kind of frustrating at first because, you know, you may not get it, but you know, it's just practice and a whole lot of time kind of putting in and eventually you'll get there. So don't be discouraged. The second thing to remember is that no video will ever replace a real life teacher. So where it will help you, you know, practicing movements and stuff, a real teacher will be able to correct you. So it's kind of hard to correct yourself if you've never done it before. So in your area, just uh, ask around, see if anybody has ever heard of a dance teacher. Um, of course, if she's very entertaining to you and you love the, her dance style, that will help. And also don't be afraid to take from more than one teacher. I think that you should take from as many teachers as possible and collect things that you find wonderful and make that your own style. The third thing is, is what to wear. So I really suggest um, for when you're practicing to wear like yoga clothes, like something very easy to like stretch in. Um, just a simple hip scarf, like you don't have to go out when you first go online and Google belly dance clothes and stuff, you'll find all an array of uh, different costs and sizes and colors and it, it's a little bit crazy. But really all you need to do is find something very simple like this, it's just, all it is is just a shawl. You can find them a lot of time at Ross or Marshalls and you know, you just tie it on your hips and tuck it up, it works just fine. A lot of teachers don't um, like coins in their classrooms. So, and also, just so you know, the, the more coins and beads you have on there, not only the more expensive it is, but the heavier it is and the harder it is to actually keep it on <laughs> when you start to move. So, uh, just realize you don't need anything fancy at first. The other thing is, is you don't really wear anything on your feet. Um, you can pick up a little pair of ballet flats if you prefer or um, some people like Hermes sandals, some people like jazz shoes, so any of those are you know, possible to wear if you don't want to just have bare feet. Um, some people like, just like leg warmers. So, and the other thing to remember is if it's cold, make sure that you have something to keep your feet and your ankles warm while you're, while you're practicing. So with that information, I hope that you will find somewhere great to practice and get to, onto the big stage eventually. And I thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom and to subscribe. And you can always email me at Talia, T-A-L-I-A, me, dance, at yahoo.com.